a revolutionary idea is stirring among the peaceful islands off the west coast of Scotland. It's a plan to produce green renewable energy by harnessing the power at the bottom of the sea. 60 metres beneath me here on the seabed, engineers will place 10 giant turbines. They'll be driven by the tide, which runs at a phenomenal three metres every second. And if they can get the project right, it'll be the first of its kind in the world. This is how it would look. Deep in the Sound of Isla, blades 10 metres long would turn at 10 times a minute at peak flow. A bit like an underwater wind farm. Each turbine would produce one megawatt of power. Together, it's enough to provide electricity for Isla's 3,500 people. Scotland has 25% of all the tidal energy potential in Europe. Along with wind and wave power, some dream of a country that will one day use only green energy. Scotland is, is blessed with a, a, a very large amount of tidal and wave uh, energy and uh, if that is captured then it can have a, a huge a benefit to, to Scotland's contribution to, to uh, climate change and uh, this is a demonstration, it's an important demonstration of that technology. If it can work here we can put it in larger scales in other areas. The project will cost more than 80 million dollars and has yet to prove cost effective. The engineers will also have to tread carefully. Fishermen are worried about their gear becoming snarled in the turbines and the impact on wildlife, including dolphins, whales and diving birds. A lot of debris going up and down the sound and such like. Boats fishing here, possibility of dragging anchors into it and such. So 60% for it, 40% against, I'm afraid. The Scottish Parliament will have to be reassured before it gives the go-ahead, but the energy company Scottish Power hopes the Isla project will encourage others to join the green revolution. Isla's world-famous whisky makers are already on board. They need guaranteed electricity to power their distilleries. This one alone produces 81,000 litres a week. The biggest target is to reduce energy uh, consumption, obviously, and the, the carbon output yeah. globally and we want to reduce that by 50% by 2015 so that'll go a big way to, to helping us in that manner. The tidal power created by the pull of the moon and the sun on the sea has always existed. It may be expensive to capture but many believe if the opportunity isn't taken now the eventual cost to the earth could be much higher. Tim Friend, Al Jazeera, Isla, Scotland.